After a long and exhausting journey, our hero makes discovered Shibuya, including the beautiful Meiji Shrine in the middle of busy city life and the Hachiko Memorial. She discovered lovely local restaurants with amazing food and even found three, yes you heard right, three cherry blossom trees. Due to the unruly weather, she was forced to buy a new karate gi for a whooping 40,000 yen, and after more and more food, she continued her journey. Welcome back to another Japan vlog. This time around, we're gonna be traveling to Hakone, and then we'll go to Ghibli Park. I'm so glad you guys tag along for the ride, but first, I wanna show you something special that I found everywhere all over Japan, and those are the vending machines. Okay, in Japan, you can find these vending machines everywhere. And I found a new drink I really like. It tastes like Sprite Zero, but better. So we're gonna uh, get that now. Perfect, um, can get lost to them. <laughs> Success. Ta-da! <laughs> As mentioned before, we are on our way to Hakone here, and this is a pretty short train ride for what it's worth, just along the coast of Japan towards the west. And here you can see Lake Ashi, and where we were staying is basically where that little mountain tag is. And very closely, you have Fuji Sun, which is something I really wanted to see, and we did get to see it from the train ride as well. Now, the train does end, in Hakone Yumoto, which is a beautiful city. It's super small and absolutely lovely. You can see a lot of stuff and we had very delicious bento here. I'm honestly really surprised at how beautiful this is because I would just stay here to be honest with you, but we'll see how our actual location looks like. <laughs> Here are some more impressions from Hakone Yumoto. If you're wondering about staying there, it has this lovely little passage where you can buy loads of stuff and even these fresh bean cakes that were really, really good. But then came our first bus ride towards Lake Ashi and the floating Tori Gate. And navigating these bus lines is harder than I personally thought at first. You can take tours on Lake Ashi with these pirate boats and look at the floating Tori Gate. We definitely want to see Mount Fuji so we're so glad we had good weather to actually spot it and then we went on to our ryokan. If you don't know what a ryokan is you basically get dinner and breakfast made by them but it's all really high quality and usually ryokans are places for relaxation, for wellness, taking time off and they often have onsen as well and so did ours. This was the room or I guess the mini apartment that we we were staying in it was absolutely beautiful and like old Japanese tatami style and this is our private onsen now the water that comes up from the hot springs is 50 degrees hot so you have to pour some extra cold water in but it was extremely relaxing and so nice after the busy Tokyo days <laughs> Now, excuse my language, but we have to talk about the toilets because only in Japan did I realize we are shitting like absolute idiots. Their toilets are so nice, man. They have heated seats, they have all kinds of bidet function. You just feel so clean when you go to the toilet there and it's basically every single toilet, but this by far was the prettiest, so I decided to record this one. Unfortunately, we already had to leave to go on our next journey after an amazing breakfast and some time to actually do all of my social media stuff. We 
took the trains towards Ghibli Park and you can just see how delicious all of the food was that they gave us. Just looking at these images, I'm getting hungry again and I wish I could go back. But yeah, we did go onwards. We saw Fuji from the train one more time and the closer and closer we got to Ghibli Park, we actually saw more and more signs that were hinting towards Totoro and his friends being there. Now, eventually, I had some mishaps happening with buying these tickets. We got a very unfortunate time for the main warehouse and Ghibli Park does close at 5 p.m. So we did not have a lot of time and I'll tell you now, we didn't get to see everything that I wanted to. We went into the main warehouse. I bought so many things and we did have a chance to get the feeling of the actual films. After the warehouse, we saw an old friend of mine and then moved on to the Totoro Forest. Now, that was not a smart choice. We should have gone to the Valley of Witches instead because the Totoro Forest is the one that is the furthest away from anything. But regardless, we did go there and to the Mononoke area just because that's my favorite movie. And I would definitely go back. It was really, really lovely there, but I wish they wouldn't close at 5 p.m. Really was running across this area. We did get to Kyoto in the evening and our suitcases were already waiting there. Pause the tape. We used Takubin for everything whenever we were traveling from big cities to big cities. Taking your suitcases on the Shinkansen in Japan is not not something you see a lot of people do and there isn't enough space for it. So you can hand your suitcases into the reception of whatever hotel you're staying at and have them send the suitcase to your new location. We did this all the time. It worked absolutely beautiful. And this is our location in Kyoto, which I think was one of the nicest hotels we were staying at. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Before you click off this video, I would be so thankful if you could subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me in growing this channel and giving you guys more content like this. And if you want to get an extra bonus star, you can write a comment down below and tell me what your favorite food is you've seen so far in this vlog. Hope to see you in the next one.